instant messaging and SMS. Welcome! This video is to provide helpful guidance for secure and efficient remote working including communicating via instant messaging as well as with SMS. First, we will explain the administration configuration requirements on the PBX server and then the end user experience when working remotely with these tools. So, specifically in this video we are going to cover the requisites on the PBX to have this working and also how to access test communications once the server configurations are ready. Here we have an example scenario. In this diagram, we can see a common scenario where local workers located in the same land where the PBX sits can communicate between each other. But at the same time, remote workers are not left out. They can keep working from the outside world without ever having to give up their office's extension number. Not only are calls possible between every user, regardless if they are working from the office or from elsewhere, but also instant messaging and SMS messages are possible using Zulu or the user control panel, UCP. Okay, so in order to have the PBX ready and start using Zulu and or the user control panel for text communications, the following prerequisites have to be met in the PBX. Please note that, depending on the status of your PBX, some or most of these prerequisites could already be correctly configured in your system. The prerequisites are mainly, Zulu module has to be running and properly configured if going to use Zulu. Please refer to the Zulu desktop work from home video for this setup. UCP user control panel access should be enabled and configured if using UCP. Refer to the UCP work from home video for this setup as well. You need to have an SMS enabled SIP station trunk if going to use SMS. This is actually not needed for instant messaging. And the PBX models have to be up to date for proper operation of the latest features. Via web interface or via console. By console with this command. Having the prerequisites already met, we are ready to start configuring our PBX to be able to send and receive instant messages as well as SMS. First, we are going to log in into our web interface and configure our SIP station trunk. We go to Models and SIP station under the Connectivity section. Here we can see it is really easy to add our previously obtained SIP station trunks to our PBX. This is done just by entering the account key that we should have received when getting the trunk. As an example, and we add the key. If we haven't already obtained a SIP trunk, we can do so now here in the bottom section. This is the same as going to SIPstation.com. If you have somehow misplaced the account key, you can check it inside your account details in the SIP station website, specifically under My Account Trunk Groups SIP station key code. Once we have submitted the account key, our SIP station model will reload to show the information of our account. We can see that the primary and secondary trunks are properly registered and this is the trunk status is OK. We can even see the codec being used and network information. If we go to Account Information tab, we can see the features available for our trunks. And here, here we confirm that SMS is enabled for these trunks. With this word said, we just need to go to Models, User Management, and enable SMS for the users that are going to use it. For example, we edit this user, go to SIP station SMS tab, and select the DID of that SMS to be able to use it for the SMS sending and receiving. We submit and apply the configuration when ready. We need to also check for those users that are going to use SMS and as well as instant messaging, 
if they have those features enabled for their Zulu clients and or UCP user control panel users. Again, we enter to the, this user, for example, and go to UCP tab CP station SMS, it will in inherit the option we already selected. We can force it to be yes. And in the Zulu tab, it is inheriting the options for the group, but we can force it to enable no harm in doing that. We submit and we're ready to apply the changes. Now that we've configured everything on the PBX side, we are ready to start messaging. First, we're going to show how to do it with UCP, the user control panel. Remote workers can now start sending and receiving SMS as well as instance messages by going to the user control panel. For this, they must open their web browser to the PBX externally in this case and click on UCP button. Here they log in with the credentials they should have received via email from the user management module. Once inside, if they haven't created any tabs or widgets, they should start doing so. First, we create a tab. We can call it messaging, for example. Then we start adding widgets to it. Here in the main section, but here down is the SMS widget. We can add it with the plus button. For instance, to start a conversation, just click here and put the destination number to send the SMS to. As you can see, the web browser can, can also push notifications to the desktop. For instant messaging, we add another widget. This time it's a sidebar, sidebar widget for Zulu. Inside the Zulu section, we have the chat list. Here we see a user Zulu online. We can write to her. And we can get replies as well. We have browser notifi notifications for either messaging solution. As you can see, it is really easy to start messaging using UCP from remotely. And now we're going to show how remote workers can send and receive instant messages as well as SMS using the Zulu client. For messaging using the Zulu desktop application, the remote worker has to open it in his desktop or laptop and log in to the PBX remotely using the credentials he should have received via email from the user management module. The format is as follows, the extension or username from, from the user management module at the PBX domain and the password. Once inside, he can start a new instant messaging session or a SMS session directly from here and in the activity section by the plus sign. Alternatively, he can search for the contact, for example, by typing the first letters and the contacts will start appearing. When he's here, he can open the stream with that contact.
here in the bottom we have an option to send either chat or SMS message. For now we'll send a chat message to this Zulu user that is on another place. And we can receive of course messages back. For SMS, as mentioned, we can go here and create the SMS. We just add the destination phone number here in the top field and type our message. Of course, any replies will show up in that stream as well. Thank you. With this we conclude our video on how remote workers can do instant messaging and SMS using either UCP user control panel or Zulu clients.